Good morning. This is Hassan from The Spiritual Walks. I hope everyone is doing amazing. For those who don't already know me, I make videos on spirituality, self-development, some poetry, and anything that is life-related. Things that are in some way transformative. So today's video is on the importance of failure. And the reason why I wanted to speak about this is because we live in a society where we are told to constantly be the best, meaning that we are trying to avoid failure as much as possible. But I'd like to re-establish our relationship with failure so that we can propel, exceed and become the greatest version of ourselves. And the first thing that I will say is that failure is necessary for success. Failure is necessary in all aspects, in all goals that are to be reached. Failures are the lessons that we learn to be able to take a step forward. Failures are the shifts in perspectives we take after we try something. Now there are many reasons why we try to go against failure or try to avoid it. One of these reasons could be because we care about what other people may think. Another reason could be because it's going against our self-image. We see ourselves as someone who never fails. And another reason could be because we don't want to feel any lack of self-confidence. You know? And sometimes we even volunteer to fail at certain matters on purpose, which we then refer to as a controlled fail or a forfeit because I can't be bothered, I don't want to do it at this time or this stage but really and truly we don't want to admit to ourselves that if we tried we may have failed anyway okay and there are all of these difficult psychological twists and things that we put in place to make ourselves believe that we are above failure but no we've got to re-establish the relationship with failure we've got to understand that failure is not really failure it's just a new way of trying something and perhaps learning that this isn't the right way to do that thing and so every time you fail you're just finding new ways that show you how not to do something and it always brings you closer to doing something the right way perhaps okay now there are also many times where failure actually doesn't have a place and we just create it, we just place it such as we have success. Success in life is such a huge term, such a huge pressure point on all of people's lives. And if you don't become a certain uh, doctor, scholar, engineer, whatever it is in society, you are unsuccessful. If you don't earn a certain amount, you are unsuccessful. If you don't drive a certain car, you are unsuccessful. No one may be telling us these things, but our surroundings, the media, the people may be implying these things. So we can then immediately feel this pressure. Now, if you are not someone who's driving the Mercedes or who doesn't have a huge car or something like that, if you call yourself a failure because you don't have these things, that is something that you have instilled upon yourself and that doesn't need to be there and we've got to understand that we actually put a lot more pressure on ourselves than society really does and before society even does put a pressure on ourselves we are the ones who accept or deny that pressure okay we have the power to lead our own path and this is why I felt like bringing our attention to re-establishing or rethinking failure can actually do us wonders because we will go ahead and we will walk this life jumping over the obstacles whenever we need to instead of just halting and stopping and being afraid to jump over and excelling let's take a look for an example at a small child who may be below 10 years old maybe five six years old jumping around, maybe in this field, you know, playing football, falling over, getting back up, falling over, getting back up. Can we say that this child has perhaps not even conceptualized the notion of failure? 
or perhaps even if it knows what failure is it hasn't really put such an incredible amount of weight to the term failure in other words it inherently feels that it's okay to fail inherently it feels that it doesn't matter if someone see me fall I'll just get back up again okay and any successful individual in every single aspect or subject in life in every single field whether the term success is subjective or objective they have re-established the relationship with failure and they have found a way to even seek out failure because every time they fail they know they are getting closer to reaching the goal okay now I leave you with this message I really hope that whatever it is that you feel like it's challenging you in life understand that it's okay to fail and failure is not as bad as it seems failure is something that we actually have to be friends with we have to re-establish our relationship with it we have to go ahead and allow it to be because we know that after we fail we are one step closer to where we want to be and that's a guarantee however if we don't try there is no guarantee that we ever get where we want to be. Thank you so much for listening. This is Hassan from The Spiritual Walks. If you haven't subscribed already, do make sure you subscribe, click the bell, like this video, share it if you feel like it's useful. It's amazing to see that a lot of people are finding benefit in these videos. So do spread the message. Much love to you all and see you in the next video. Take care.